Hello everyone! Welcome to the tutorial of Gato Plugins. Today I'm going to show you how to add radio variation swatches for WooCommerce from scratch. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Before heading to the main video, you need to install the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. To download the free version of the plugin, navigate to Add New from Plugins. Now search for variation searches for WooCommerce by Imran Ahmed and install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. Now the free version of your plugin is activated. So now let's get into the main video. Product attributes can be created from both global attribute and custom product attribute. For manual or custom product attribute, you have to create the same attribute and its variations for each product again and again. That means one attribute can only be allocated in a single product. But when you create global attributes, you can assign these global attributes to multiple products. So today I will show you the process of creating radio swatches from the global attribute. To create global attribute, navigate to attributes from products. Here is the list of my all globally created attributes. Before creating the global attribute, let's click on the type option. Here you can see color, image and button swatches are available. But radio swatch is not available because in the free version of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin, you'll get all the swatches except radio. Radio swatch is only available in the premium version of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. So you need to purchase the premium version of the plugin. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link getplugins.com. Click on plugins and click on Variation Swatches for WooCommerce. Now purchase the plugin. Once you purchase the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. Now head to the product backend and navigate to Add New from Plugins. Click on Upload Plugin. Choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So now premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin are installed and activated. Now go back to the attribute list page. Let's refresh the page. So you can see radio swatch is now available. Now I'll create a new global attribute. Fill the name field with your desired title. For demonstration purposes, I have given the attribute name Made In. After specifying your desired attribute name, you can leave Slug, Enable Archives, and Default Sort Order as it is, because all these are optional. Now select Radio Type from the drop down and save the attribute. You can see Made in attribute is successfully created. Now click on configure terms to create the variations of made in attribute. I'll create a total of two variations. They are UK and USA. Fill the name field with UK and add the variation. Again fill the name field with USA and add the variation. So all of my variations are now created. Now let's create a new product. To create a new product, navigate to add new from products. Give a name of the product and also give a short description of the product. Select variable product from product data drop down. Now click on attributes. Select the newly created global attribute and click on add button. 
Now click on Select All button and all the variations of Made in Attribute will be selected. Now give a check mark on Used for Variations. Press on the Save Attributes button. Now click on Variations. Add Variation will add each variation one by one. But Create Variations from all attributes will add the variation by making a combination of all the available attributes. So for now, I'll go for Create Variations from all the attributes. Now expand the variations. Price is the mandatory field for each variation. So make sure price is set for all the variations, otherwise variations will not show up in the product frontend. Now add featured images for each variation. First I'll add image for UK variation and then for US variation. Now save the changes. Now set a product image by clicking here. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Now click on the publish button and go to the product frontend to see the final result. So made in attributes variations are successfully showing the radio swatches. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.